Hello everyone, this is part 2 of 4 of MetaHuman customization, in this case specifically for the body. Now in the previous video we talked about UE5 skeletons, which are the easiest of them all. In this one we are talking about an alternate skeleton. Now this guy here, it's a clone commando that I downloaded from Sketchfab and I run through Mixamo's auto rigger. That is one way of doing this. And the rig that came in is then able to be used with something called the one-click control rig created by Shosh Student. I will be pasting this link in the description, which explains everything and how to use it. This is amazing. And it creates a control rig with IK and FK to be used with any Mixamo skeleton. Again, Mixamo skeletons. And then on the right hand side, we have a character from Unreal Engine, which is a character from Paragon. Now, all of these are free. They are in fab and they are awesome because we could with them create a modular rig. And I will be showing a modular rig on a later video. But right now I am simply going to show you how to use this as a custom body for a metahuman. This is super simple. It's one thing that we need to do. I am going to reverse engineer this blueprint here. I'm going to open it up and there's only one thing we need to do. I will do it again on this one. So this is the body of the clone that I brought in. So the one thing we need to do in the MetaHuman blueprint, we are just going to leave the face with all of its bindings for the hair. We're going to reset its value. So this is what your blueprint should look like if you want to replace it with another body from a Mixamo or a Paragon character. So in this case, I have um, an LOD. The first LOD of this face has had the neck chopped off. And since I am forcing the LOD to stay at zero, there are no issues with this. And so if I force the LOD to stay at zero here, it's always going to respect the first one. If you need a change on the LODs, you're going to need to be chopping each and every one of the LODs on that specific skeletal mesh. And the simple path that we need to take here is obviously the first thing we need to do is bring in a skeletal mesh. So we are going to bring in one, we're going to call it body. And I know that I have a clone body headless because I chopped the helmet off the clone commando that I had here. I am going to bring it in. Once we have it in, I am simply going to drag the face on top of the body. And then this is the trick here. We are going to parent socket the face to the neck. In this case, there's only one neck. This is what happens once we parent it. It's fine. It's normal because of the direction of the neck and the position of the neck. It's parenting it directly to our pivot point rather than the center, which makes sense. Everything is as intended. We're simply going to manually accommodate this so it fits as good and wherever we want it. So in this particular case, and if we're doing different different bodies to the metahuman face, we always try and get bodies that have this sort of positioning on the neck or this sort of protective gear around the neck so we can hide the seam. Obviously in this case I would go in and in the metahuman body I would try to, um, not in the metahuman body, but in the clone trooper body, I would try to sculpt a little bit of the neck section here outside so we are not colliding with it. But again, we're not going to do this today. We're just experiencing and setting up the mechanica, the mechanical side of this, right? We're trying to get this to work as a custom body for a metahuman. Now, if I were to, again, I just did the simple attachment. That's all I did. If I were to compile and save now, this is going to be attached. And if I were to come outside here and into my world, obviously you can see again popping out because the LOD sync here needs to be set again to zero. And if we come here to our world outside and we have here our sequencer where we have our chaos, uh, our cl clone commando, I should say, we have here the body animation idle long, and we can clearly see that it is in fact working. Now it will follow any animation that this body has attaching the head of the metahuman to the neck animation. You can see that we have a couple of issues there that again, you can just simply fix by sculpting in either the head or sculpting out the body. And the great thing about this is that once again, with the one click rig that we got from Josh Tunin, we can very simply 
go to the plus track in the body going into the control rig layered and choosing in this case clone commando control rig and if we press the G key we have a fully working control rig with IK FK capabilities that I can then choose to additively modify in this case or we could even bake it to the control rig and have it working now the same process was done for twin blast here and the cool thing about this guys is that they have very cool animations now the one problem with twin blast and possibly any other character from paragon is you can clearly see that the head is extremely stiff so at that point you could even go into baking twin blast right next to this guy and translating all that animation into the pitch yaw and um and uh, the final rotation that it eludes me now, it's going to be roll, there we go, roll, pitch, and yaw from the skeleton from Twin Blast directly to this one. Or you can just simply, by looking at Twin Blast right next to him, just add a couple of animations on the face. In this case, it would be on the face. And the faces not only can be added layered uh, to their face control board, they can even use the metahuman control rig, the full body control rig. Now you'll see this problem here, which is not a problem really. You can see that the body is not using this rig because it is exactly doing what I asked. It's actually adding the rig just to the face. The body has its own rig, which is a different one. But the cool thing here is that I could, if I wanted to, add some manual animation here by setting up a couple of keyframes on my additive tracks. So when he's going here, we're going to look a bit down and then he's going to look down to the other gun and then maybe he throws it up and he tracks that. And as the gun goes down, he is going to track it down again. Now he should be looking at this way. And again, this is just manual animation that I'm doing here. And that's already looking a bit more alive. There we go. Yeah, that's already looking a bit more alive. And then he looks forwards. And then we could go and look for the gun where he does this little uh, blowing wind into the blazing hot gun. So that's already looking much, much better. Again, a couple keyframes just on an attitude track. And then he goes and finalizes that. So that's essentially how to replace the metahuman body with an alternate skeleton obviously always aim to a skeleton that contains a control rig already again i'll leave the link in the description for this control rig exclusive for mixamo characters or create a modular rig for any characters that are under the epic games or unreal engine i should say skeleton structure which all paragon characters are in a next video, we are going to be talking about a character or changing the cloth or creating a new body with no skeleton at all. We are going to start from a static mesh. So that's going to pretty much supersede anything here because we are going to be using the metahuman skeleton in Blender to transfer all of those weights. That's going to be coming on the third iteration of this video. Thank you for watching. Continue watching if you want to see more, no skeletons, and then we are going to be covering Chaos Cloth. There's also a first video that covers a UE5 skeleton, the simplest of all of these met methods, and there's going to be more and more on this channel. Again, thank you for watching. See you next time.